Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 29, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios and you're welcome to join us over at eToro. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit right about this moment because the US Federal Reserve has basically come out and said that interest rate in the United States will basically not be changed. So they will keep the interest rate at 0.25%. And uh, that is, uh, of course, if they increase the interest rate, that should be bullish for the US dollar. And as they basically are keeping it at the same level. And that basically means that the dollar is going to be weaker against the other currencies here. So as you can see, the, the US dollar is basically, uh, the Great British Pound, the US dollar is appreciating it at this current stage and is up to 0.31%. We are still well uh, below these uh, previous highs here and we basically need to take out these previous highs in order to go higher. We can see that, that we technically have to take out this trend line here before going higher than this so we may find some resistance when we get towards that uh, that the trend line and that will also mean that we'll get very close to the top of the bullish band so we could rally from here up towards this point and that should offer quite a lot of resistance a break above that well that could mean that we'll go significantly higher if we break down from here then we have the 100 moving average that most likely will act as major support if you look at technical indicators, we can see that the you can see that MACD is above zero and is above the signal line and is bullish. The RSI is bullish, the CCI is flat, and the stochastic is bearish at this current stage. But we are rallying and uh, we are above the 40, 50, and the, and the 30 uh, moving average. And at this point, it looks like we are about to rally up towards this line. And the question is whether or not we'll break that or not. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. We can see that we have been rallying the last two trading days uh, quite significantly. This was a fairly big rally of 1.14% to the upside up towards the 50 moving average. And then we basically found resistance here at the 50 moving average. And at this current stage, it looks like we are pulling back. So we're trading in between the 50 and the 20 exponential moving average. If you look at the MACD, it is about to cross the signal line, but we're underneath zero, so we're basically in a downtrend. But this is a bullish sign if we cross here. The RSI is uh, technically bearish at this current stage. The CCI is flat, the stochastic is very, very bullish, and we're just above the middle here in the Bollinger Band. So we could head towards the top, but it looks like this is as far as we uh, could go. If we break below the middle of the Bollinger Band here, we, that could mean that we'll drop back towards the very bottom. And that also means that we'll drop back towards these previous lows, give or take 100 and, uh, 107. If you look, for example, in the cloud, we can see that we are we have a crossing here of the 9 moving average and the 20, expansion, and, and the 20 moving average, indicating a selling signal that was all the way back in, um, this was back in 12th of... Uh, yeah, 13th of, uh, of April. And these two lines are quite far apart. We are also entering the cloud and that's usually a territory that is not uh, an uptrend or a downtrend. And it's not until basically these lines cross again until it basically becomes a selling signal, a uh, buying signal again. At the current stage, the cloud is basically saying that this is in a downtrend um, and we are basically selling off so we are have been rallying the last two trading days but that could come to an end as this will fall back down towards the lows so let's look at the us dollar and uh, euro us dollar and as you can see also here we are rallying we're up 0 point uh, 20 percent we're trading uh, fairly uh, far away from the these moving averages which is fairly bullish shine we're approaching the top of the bullinger band and uh, we have some still some room left in order to get to that point. So 0.38%. Technically, English, for example, the MACD is bullish, the RSI is bullish, but overbought. CCI is bullish, and so is the stochastic. So momentum is to the upside, and it has been ever since we basically hit the bottom here at the 300 moving average. It has been rallying 3.38%. And uh, this was all the way back in the beginning of April, and now we're in the last month, it has been rallying 
3.38 percent so fairly good rally here in the euro us dollar if we were to break down from here there's a lot of support underneath and uh, it looks like it's only a matter of time before we basically pull back a little bit and then try to take out these previous highs so let's look at the aussie dollar us dollar and as you can see also here we have rallied it is fairly significant uh, roughly half a percent so we have been going back and forward here the last two uh, two weeks and we have not managed to break above this level here which is 0 0.78 this was also previous resistant over here also over here and it's technically a level that we have to break in order to go back towards 0 0.80 if you look at technical indicators we can see that the macd is bullish the rsi is bullish on the hb no robot the cci is fairly flat at this point stochastic is flat and we're basically in the middle of nowhere here in the bullish band so time will tell we if we get a green candlestick above this um resistant level and then we could head towards 0 0.80 otherwise we'll probably just stay in between this um, level here and support down here at the 20 expansion moving average so let's look at the us dollar canadian dollar and this has absolutely fallen apart so this was oversold um, earlier today but now we're at 26 now it's significantly oversold and we're also significantly overstretched here in the bullish band but this was expected all the time. We have been uh, trying to break through the 50 moving average for a really long time now and have not managed to do so. And this is looks like a continuation of, uh, of moves that we have seen in the past. For example, here, rally towards the 50, broke it down back towards uh, support, rally to support, and again, rally. And now it looks like we're going to target support yet again down here roughly at 12.18. So another... At one and 1.2 percent to the downside before we hit this uh, lower support level it, yes so we will probably be significantly uh, overstretched in single digits here in our size so we'll probably have a pullback before we go all the way down towards those levels so a rallies a rally up towards the 20 uh, the middle of the bullish band uh, those rallies will most likely be sold into as there is significant resistant above so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios and you're welcome to join us over at t the link is down below good luck and thank you very much